Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Good evening, everybody. We are going now to show you how to set the high frequency parameter in baby preterm 28 weeks, 800 gram RDS. So there is two approach to uh, put the baby on the high frequency, either optimal long volume strategy or it will be low long volume strategy. How to choose uh, which one it will be better for the baby? This on the long pathology. If the baby having uh, galactic changes or RDS and small lung volume, so I would like to recruit this lung. So I will choose optimal lung volume strategy. Optimal lung volume strategy this means I have to check the map of the convention, how much the map is in. I will increase it by one to three, uh, the map. And for low volume lung strategy, this is also the lung pathology. If there is uh, early or new thorax, so I have to keep it the same main airway uh, pressure in the conventional. These are the two approaches to choose it for high frequency if you are going to shift the patient from conventional to high frequency. Either optimal lung volume strategy, if there is lung pathology or epileptic changes, or low lung volume strategy if there is new thorax or leak. So we'll show you here, come closer please. This will now will start by, then this is a ventilation setting, then I'm try to put the high frequency, this is the parameter. So how to choose the parameter now for the high frequency? First of all, I, for example, I'm going to choose the high frequency. Based on the birth weight, if the baby birth weight uh, less than one kg, it will be between, it will be between uh, 12 to 15. If the, the, if the baby birth weight 1 to if 1 to 2, it will be between 10 to 12. If full term, it will be 10. It will be 10. But the ideal, it will be all the time are choosing the 10. All the time are choosing the 10, it will be ideal. The frequency, actually, it will be uh, opposite the rate. Opposite the rate. And uh, the frequency, it will be ranged between 6 to 15. And also the frequency, it will be indirectly proportional to tidal volume. If I'm decreasing the frequency, so I'm increasing the tidal volume, so I'm eliminating more CO2. But if you will decrease the frequency, actually it will be more dangerous. It will be more dangerous. And uh, if you are decreasing the frequency, it will increase the tidal volume and increase the time for the oscillation. And the frequency, it will be, this is the, the frequency, this is the number of oscillation. The frequency, it's called it the number of solution. So if it goes for another parameter, the map. If I'm choosing the optimal lung volume strategy, so I have to check here the map in the conventional mechanical vintage, how much before. It's here actually at 8.4, so I have to increase it one to three above the conventional, above the conventional map. So that it was 8.5, so I have to increase it by two, 1 to 3 or 2. So I have to choose 11, 10 to 11. So I'm choosing 11. It's okay. This is the first thing. Uh, then I will go to the map. Actually, it will help in the increasing the oxygenations and also increase the lung volume. If you go for the amplitude, the amplitude, this is the pressure. This is the pressure around the map. This is the pressure variations around the map or the oscillation around the map. You have to uh, way to choose the amplitude. You have to there's two way to choose amplitude. Either it will be double or triple the the map. The map is 11, so I have to increase this. So it will be the double. It will be 22. It will be 22. It's okay. Or I will go to the previous parameter. I will check the previous parameter here. It was the BIB. It was 16 because the the amplitude. It almost it will be the BIB of the conventional. It will then depend on your strategy optimal lung volume strategy or low lung volume strategy. If the optimal uh, lung volume strategy, so I 16, I will reduce it by two. I will reduce it by two. So we'll go back again for the, the parameters of the high frequency parameter. So I have to choose the amplitude. It will be between 14 to 22. You have to choose between 14 to 22. If you goes for the, already we finished the frequency and the map and the amplitude, if it goes for the inspire to expire time, is no actually major change because it will go by percentage. For high frequency, it will be 33% percentage. It's not a matter of one to two, one to three, or one to two, or like that. And oxygen depends on the saturation and will adjust it based on the saturation. Also, the map, it will be adjusted based on the 
the oxygen saturation and lung volume. It will be based on the lung volume. So I'm choosing now my high frequency uh, parameter uh, based on the previous parameter and based on two approaches, the uh, optimal lung volume approach or uh, optimal lung volume approach or low lung volume approach. Low lung volume approach, if we go for low lung volume approach, so I will choose here the conventional mechanical ventilation if the patient having air leak or pneumothorax. This is it, so I, what I'm going to check now, this is it, I will keep it eight. I will keep it eight. I will not increase it because the baby have a pneumothorax already. So it's having new. I will keep it eight same as as the map of the conventional. It will be same. I will not change it. And the frequency it will be same depend on the birth weight. Extreme birth weight it will be between twelve to fifteen. If one to two kg it will be between ten to twelve. And the full term it will be a full term it will be ten. A full term it will be uh, ten. So I will keep it uh, 10, and don't touch it until you call your senior. The frequency, don't touch it, because the frequency actually, it will be, uh, it will be actually, it will be uh, 10 uh, hertz, or it will, this one, it will be uh, the 10 per second, 10 per second. If you need per minutes, it will time 16, it will be 600. It will be this one, 10 per second. It will 10 hertz or 10 cycle per second. So if you need per minute, it will time 60, it will be 600, it will be 600. So this is regarding to the frequency if we are going to choose the low lung volume strategy. And the amplitude, it will be also same because the amplitude, it will represent the pressure around the map or the oscillation around the map. The frequency, it will be uh, just only the number of the oscillation. This is number or the cycles per second. The amplitude here, uh, amplitude I will choose, it will be double the map or I will go back to BIB, then I will reduce it by two. I will reduce it by two. If I oxygen depend on saturation and lung volume and the map also depend also on saturation and uh, lung uh, volume, depend on the lung volume. Now I'm choosing now the high frequency parameter and you have to choose it within 20 seconds. If you will not choose within 20 seconds, the rotatory mode will switch it to the previous setting. So now I choose, already I choose my parameter now. Now I have to shift this patient to high frequency. So high frequency, it's okay. So we'll shift it now. So high frequency, the high frequency started now. By the parameter I choose it, base it on which approach you are using. High or optimal uh, lung volume strategy or low lung volume strategy. Low lung volume strategy for pneumothorax and their leak and optimal lung volume strategy for lung collapse or directly to recruit the lung. So we'll go back for the very first setting here. This is conventional BAC. It will be same parameter. It will be as before. At the end, I would like to pray for my colleague for Saudi board, Jordanian board. And also I would like to thank my uh, team for helping to deliver this uh, activity. Thank you.